Taiwan researchers have announced an, an experimental mRNA vaccine that protects against all current COVID strains, including Omicron. This vaccine was designed using Delta and Omicron genetic sequences. In lab experiments on mice, this next-generation vaccine was found to be universally effective. A joint research project between Academia Seneca and NTU on next-generation vaccines has borne fruit. In experiments on mice, researchers tested vaccines against different COVID strains. The researchers discovered that existing COVID-19 vaccines, when used against Omicron infections, produced only 12 percent of the neutralizing antibodies that they did against Delta. When tested against Omicron, a vaccine designed using the Delta strain produced only 22 percent of the antibodies it did against Delta. When researchers used the Omicron strain to design a vaccine, the antibody concentration was 37 times greater against an Omicron infection. But the vaccine then proved ineffective against other strains. But when a mix of the Delta and Omicron strains were used to design a vaccine, researchers found the vaccine to be effective against both Omicron and other strains. Methods of keeping the mRNA stable and packaging it in a nanolipid carrier so that its instructions can be passed on to our cells are the results of research at top U.S. universities, and that is protected by patents. Taiwan has been able to apply these findings. The effect of this next-generation vaccine isn't too different from the effect of multiple doses of existing vaccines. There may be a difference in effectiveness of 5 or 10 percent. Globally, when countries give out third or fourth shots, they use the original vaccines. Taiwan is leading the way in developing a next-generation mRNA vaccine to fight Omicron. However, Li says getting vaccinated and boosted with existing vaccines can achieve a similar protective effect. There is also the concern that by the time research on the new vaccine is complete, new variants of the virus will have emerged. International research has uncovered new symptoms of an Omicron infection. One is drowsiness, which affects 40 percent of infected women. Germany also reported one case of a man who kept fainting and was later confirmed infected with the strain. It drains our energy. Sometimes viruses spread throughout our bodies, causing drowsiness or lack of energy. This is a common symptom of serious infections. Fainting may involve simultaneous complications of the nervous system and cardiovascular system. When that happens, you have dizziness or the loss of consciousness. Health officials urge the public to get vaccinated and follow other protective measures to avoid infection.